my channel. My name's Amber. This is Fabricating Fringe. I've been meaning to put up a video about some really awesome headwear pieces. Um, it's been a while since I have been wearing these pieces pretty much all summer. Uh, now it's fall and here I am finally getting something up. Uh, anyway, you guys, have you heard of Edie Chops? If you haven't heard of Edie Chops, I highly recommend you go check out her Instagram and her social media platforms. I have followed them for quite some time. The organic headwear at Edie Chops is just divine. So I wanted to show you a few pieces that I've been wearing and just shout out um, that cute business because I am really loving this headwear. So if you you know, have no hair at all, if you wear alternative hair, um, if you just want some cute turbans, wraps, headbands, and you want just luscious, awesome fabrics, definitely check out Edie Chops. So just some information about the product. I was reading that more than 90% of their products are milled and printed in the UK using water-based inks. So very sustainable fashion. Um, they only use organic cotton lycra to save on chemicals and water consumption. And their adult turbans are available in three sizes. Uh, they recommend using their size guide to ensure the perfect fit. And the nice thing is, is they are there to help you with any questions or concerns. So definitely reach out if you're unsure of what to purchase, of what you need, and they can help you. This is a family run business. So everything is handmade and from you know creating the product to sending off your order, they all have like a job to do within this family run business. If you follow M on her social media, she is hilarious. She talks about motherhood, of course her beautiful headwear, and she's just so real and down to earth and relatable. So I was thrilled to check out these pieces finally after following and watching and loving um, her content and her product for so long. This company is in a small village in West Wales near the coast. But I'm over in the US and the shipping was fantastic, quick, efficient, and I was happy with the overall service. Each of these here pieces that I have to show you guys are organic. They're designed by M and printed uh, using water-based inks. This pink dot is their new turban and it is just adorable. It has this jumbo knot up front. It looks really cute without alternative hair. I do have a wig on, but even without, it is adorable. So let's take this one off. I'll actually show you without the hair on. I've worn this in bed when I'm just hanging out, watching a movie. Look at it, isn't it cute? The next one that I wanna show you guys is the orange turban, and it's an alternative to full head coverage. So let me put my hair back on, because I typically wear alternative hair. Now those with complete hair loss, sensitive scalps, you don't need to put on a wig to throw on a cute headwear piece. Now with this, I have worn it multiple ways. I've worn it like this. So you don't have the full coverage. I put the knot at the back, but it looks really, really cute with the knot up at the front. So adorable, I love that orange as well. Now this is the blue clam print. Just pop it on over your wig, over your topper. If you don't you know, wear alternative hair, my daughters love this. Super cute, love the print and it's just soft and so simple to throw on. You can also wear it both ways with the knot in the back or put the knot up at the front, on the side. So cute. Honestly, you could put the, the headband under the hair around the nape and have a different look. I'm just kind of placing it over the whole wig. Now here's the last one. This is a self tie. So I did tie this little cute bow up at the top, but you can tie it however you'd like. So anyway, you put the label around your nape and then you can adjust it to the circumference that you prefer, put it on a little girl, um, you know, wrap it around your head from the nape up. 
Um, or honestly, I have tucked in the label and worn it this way with the tie in the back, but it looks super cute with the little bow or tie up front. And you can just style it however. If you didn't want like a bulky tie up at the front, you could tie it and tuck in the ends and that would be really cute as well. So yeah, this is kind of just a way that you can tie and style this however you'd like. And I love that the material is so soft and stretchy, but it's thick and durable. It's not flimsy. So you can tell that it's very well made. I'm obviously not tying because I'm just kind of messing around, but if you wanted to somehow secure it, tie it around without a knot on top. I personally really liked that little bow up top, but really you can just have fun with it and tie and style it however you wish. Anyway, I just really felt like it was due time to share these beautiful headwear pieces and options from Edie Chops. I think she is incredible, super talented. I love how it's all handmade. Um, her cute daughter, her husband, and her family photos. She really is just so relatable and authentic on her Instagram, and that's something that I truly gravitate to and appreciate within people, especially on social media, because, you know, it's social media. So when you see that realness and that rawness, and also somebody who wants to contribute and help in this hair loss community, I just really commend that. And I'm thrilled to share with you guys these pieces that I have been enjoying this last summer. Do you guys wear Edie Chops? Let me know. Have you tried her turbans, her wraps, her headbands? Comment below and let me know. Uh, definitely check her out on her social media platforms. I will have links and her website and everything down below. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.